All right, welcome to today's Advent of Code. I've been told it's a hard one today. We'll see how it goes. I'm not going to be too long, though. I might listen to work on. Let me just draw it out that I'm live. Streaming some, uh, some advent of code in Haskell for the next hour. Come and say hi. Not too hard. Okay, twitch.tv slash Tredlo. Boom. Been tweeted. All right. Uh, let's see what today's challenge is. Extended polymerization. The incredible pressure that this test is starting to put strain on your submarine. The submarine has polymerization equipment that will produce subtle metal reinforce the submarine. Okay. The nearby volcanically active caves. The submarine manual contains. Um, instructions for finding the optimal polymer formula. It offers a polymer template and a list of pair insertion rules your puzzle input. You just need to work out what polymer will result out of reading the pair insertion process every time. For example, you copy paste this. First line is the polymer template. This is the starting point of the process. Following section defines the pair insertion rules. Rule like A to B, A, B to C means that when A, B, and A and B are immediately adjacent, element C should be inserted between them. These insertions all happen simultaneously. Okay, so N goes to C, N C goes to B. Hello, Cello. Hey, little Lenny. We have my cookie. A third pair matches the rule C, B to H. Hmm. Let's cook cooking. Third row matches TB to H. Okay. Put these pairs overlap. Second element is one pair, it's the first and the next pair. So they're all considered at the same time. Okay. Hmm. So I think the trick here is that like the element and C, it's inserted between them, right? So the only new pairs that we will have to consider are then uh, between the two, right? So we don't like, we don't have to like make the string, read the whole string, make the string again and again, right? We can just kind of compute the pairs every time. Okay, let's do this. Let's actually look at um, how the puzzle input looks. Okay. Yeah, it's just a bunch of rules. Okay, this is from yesterday. Now let's uh, do Nectar Day 14, CD Day 14, Code Day 14.hs. Code period, I think. Yeah, it starts anywhere. Okay, open it up. New file, day14.hs. Come on, like that. New file, day14.hs. Here we go. Module main, where is this tiny? Okay. Uh, main equals putster ln hello twitch read input file path. So we want, uh, so what, we, what do we want? So we have the polymer base. That's going to be a string. So we want a pair of string. And I'm going to have it be a map of a uh, char to map of char char. Right, so to apply this rule, I'm going to 
uh, look up the first one, then look up the second one, uh, and then uh, select the one that's next, and then create a pair. Okay, let's do it like this. Uh, import qualified data.map is map. Import data.map map. Read input equals. Um, so let's first just take the lines, okay? Where uh, so it's gonna be the uh, the template, and then no an empty line, and then uh, rules equals lines of uh, input. So it's gonna be IO. So it's gonna be do. Uh, so it's gonna be FP input. Uh, oh, so let's just like this template underscore rules uh, read file fp okay so then we have a list of rules okay so so make rule map um so, uh, make rule map takes in a rule, and the rules are going to be, so these are all two characters, and then blah, 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 and then a third character. So we're just going to parse it real quick. We say uh, C1, C2, underscore, uh, underscore, underscore. Okay, so now we're at the, so this is one, two, three, four. Four underscores C three, and then the rest equals a map dot from list. Um, map dot is going to be map singleton F A C one map dot singleton C two. C three. Okay, so uh, let uh, rule maps equals map make rule map uh, rules. Now make make rule map takes a string. All right, so this is actually lines over this. Now I'm gonna do a. How do I union them? We'll go. Map merge. Merge. We're gonna merge the maps. Merge map. Oh my god. Data dot map. Okay, how do we merge them? Merge. Oh my god. Merge. Uh, this is always like, oh, like, why wouldn't I merge? Merge with key. An unsafe general combining function. Okay. Um, union with key. Okay, so key and an A to and an A and a union function. Okay, so let's say uh, these are going to be um, we're going to return template comma rule maps and it doesn't like this because it's going to return a map char map char char now what is the type of rule maps it's a uh, yeah okay so union with a union with uh union with a combining function yeah okay so union with comb map so uh, i guess it's just union with a union
All right, it's map.union. Map.union with, oh, okay. I think it's like a unions with, yes. Map.unions with, like this. Now, let's read the read input a example print. Ding, 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 ding. is of course extremely brittle but it's okay we are not going to be changing it <laughs> open file example right we forgot to do the example okay so we get a b so let's level ones i have b here b Okay, in B should be BN goes to. Okay, so BB goes to N, yeah. Okay, BH goes to H. Okay, so we got the uh, rules. Now, uh, two up. So we so we also do here. Um, two pairs takes a string and returns a char comma just a pairs two pairs a a b r equals a comma b two pairs b r two pairs if i don't have a pair i just do like this now from pairs that's uh, gonna be a ch char comma char to string so from pairs uh so if i have the last pair i want to say okay, from pairs empty is equals empty okay from pairs of the last pair is gonna be a it's gonna be a comma b all right now from pairs a comma b r equals a Concatenated with from pairs R. And I need the around here. Okay. So do a uh, template, comma, rules. Print a dollar a two pairs template. And what's uh, what do you want? Why not like this? Oh, right. Now, main is in IO, that's true. Let's print the pairs and then NC and CB. Now, okay, we say uh, apply rule. Yeah, let's just say type rules equals map char map char char now apply rules a it's gonna be rules apply rules gonna be a rules a and a pair char char and it's going to return Uh, a list of uh, char comma char now apply rule uh, rules a a comma b so i'm gonna do it like this i'm gonna do just a just a a f so that's the a first i'm gonna say uh, rules map a a comma just b so if we apply the rule and we find it rule so af map b equals a so then we define two new pairs it's gonna be a oh no so just a n so this is a new new one 
is going to be a, a comma n n n comma b okay otherwise we don't replace the pair right a comma b okay so now uh, let's say uh, print two pairs now let's print a a map apply rule a so let's say concat map apply rule rules like this you run it okay so and then let's make that into a home pairs so we get nc nb chb nc nb chb okay so we got oh, we got the first one correct Well, almost there was the first one okay so i have to run it for uh 10 steps I say uh, apply rules equals concat map apply rule uh, rule okay there's a list of charts to list of charts Okay, so um, n steps zero pairs equal pairs, n steps uh, n pairs equal apply rules. Uh, rules, okay, I have to have the rules here as well. Rules, apply rules, a uh, rules to pairs. And then n steps n minus one on the rest. And it doesn't read like this because. Dun, dun, dun. All right, because uh, it needs the rules. Okay. So now let's say uh, instead of saying this, let's say uh, n steps. Uh, 10 a uh, rules two pairs template let's run this get a super long string uh so we're supposed to taking the quantity of the most common element and subtracting the quantity of the least common element Okay, so uh, task one equals a uh, template rules equals a um, where after is equal to n steps 10 rules two pairs template so a uh, in from pairs and we do a map length over a uh, group over sort over after and we need uh, to import it at least for these two okay a uh, task one so let's call this on print task one template rules Oh, yeah, 1749, Okay, so we take the most common, so the biggest ma max. Um, so this is the lens. Uh, links. So we take a min L equals a minimum links. 
max l equals maximum length and we return max l minus min l one five eight eight we get which is the correct one now let's run it on the input I don't know if this will be fast or not, but I think the map lookup method, I don't know, it's not too bad, right? Oh, we didn't change it to... Uh... Two, six, two, one in 35 milliseconds? It's not too bad. All right, we got the first one in a 21 minutes it's not too bad let's see part two four steps okay let's just say uh Task one goes room. Yeah, it's gonna be bad, no? I think we can probably use the fact that we, um, Like, you know, if I, if I take each of the pairs, right, and I compute that for 40 steps, I can, uh, cause like, so each pair, right, just does its itself. So like it, it'll never interfere with the other pairs. So let's look at the uh, first pair in the input. Vn, okay. So what I'm saying is, uh, I can actually just put it again there. Okay, let's just say I had just Vn. How slow would that be? Okay, that's also pretty bad. But you, you see what I'm saying, right? If I know the uh, solution for a given subsystem, a substring, I can kind of look it up. <clears throat> okay, let's say. Uh... Let's try and do that. Okay, it's not even canceling. God damn it. Okay, we'll see how much time I can spend on this today. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna give myself 35 more minutes. So I'm going to stream for an hour, uh, but then I really have to get back to my list. Ding, 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 yes.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of cache it, right? So let's say I do here 40 and then we do this and we do it like that. So this is just for the first one for 10. So you get you get what I mean, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna compute like ten steps at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna say that um, this is gonna be task to forty. So task to prime. You can take in the same things, right? Let's just uh, copy paste the whole thing, actually. Test to prime. Okay, so I have the list of pairs, okay? We're gonna kind of, uh, we're gonna. We're gonna memoize it. <laughs> this is how we solo solve any everything. So uh, the uh, memo map will take in a, a map of a char comma char and return. Uh, it's gonna be memo of char comma char to a list of char comma char. Okay, uh, that way we kind of only compute each one once. So it's gonna be a uh, task to v2. Let's see, and it's gonna be task to prime. It's gonna take in the memo map. It's gonna take in the uh, current n. sick just just keep the task to rolling right um, meanwhile I think it's gonna be very expensive right out what level it's on currently. Right. 
bling, 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 bling. Oh. Right, it's always evaluating. Hmm. Something like this, right? Damn it. Controlling evaluation very well. You're right. Let's see. Oh, thanks for the follow arrow bounce. Something like this. We can like see how far we come. Yeah, it's uh, growing very exponentially, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say... Okay, so I'm going to say... Um, 10 steps equals... So pairs equals 2 pairs template. 10 steps equals map... And steps... Oh, killed! Okay, it doesn't even... It runs out of memory. Okay. That's not good. Uh, okay, but the system doesn't die. That's good. Okay, so 10 step 10 rules uh, to the... Uh, so P... No, let's do... Yeah. Okay, let's just do it the simple way. Map P, N steps, 10 rules. Um, now let's take away this one. So I do 10 steps uh, on the, for each of the pairs. No, oh, no, this is not, this doing task, it's not task. Sort after, right, okay, so this one is good. Well...
Okay, so this is for kind of each of the pairs after 10 steps. Um... So we are going to say that this one is map out from list dollar map p comma so this one will be so it computes for each of them for each 10 steps. Now let's see. Uh, can we somehow... Yeah, I mean, we can... We should be able to... Uh, like for this BB here and this BB, we don't need to recompute it. say actually uh, from pairs here so you see what I mean so this is like that so for BB right this is a string that BB produces in 10 steps Now, um, twenty steps. It's going to be um, um, okay, I think we have to. So for each of them, we look up in the 10 steps one. So for to do 20 steps, we go a... Uh, well, let's actually do here first this. Just, um, just map. From pairs over the pairs. 10 step pairs. Then 10 steps is equal to add up from list a zip a pairs. 10 step pairs. Okay, but for 20 step, I want to take all the steps in the. Yeah, okay, that's gonna be a lot of steps, right? Now we also don't want to recompute. Let's see. Okay, but let's let's do it naively first. Okay, we're just gonna go do concat a ten step it's gonna be ten step pairs. Uh, actually what 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 oh yeah. P concat ten concat map uh, so it's just going to be concat 10 step pairs this is going to be a list of steps 20 steps and uh, 20 steps is going to be um map um, ten steps map
can't get a map. Does this work? It's gonna be a lot of uh, characters. Let's just see if it. Um... Oh, map. Oh no, giving key is not an element in the map. Ooh, okay, yeah, so we see a pair that we haven't seen before. get what I mean right um, hmm. of course it's not gonna be there because I haven't done it for all of them okay so how, what are the Rules again. The rules are map char. So if I run all the rules for 10 steps. Ten-step pairs. I run for. I run these on the rule pairs. Ten-step pairs. Okay, so now I have it for all of them. So this is gonna be twenty steps. It's gonna be concat map. Ten steps. Twenty steps is gonna be concat map. So what if I now print? Let's see. Uh, let's just see the length. I don't want to print it out. How can it not be an element in a given map? Oh, uh, because it ju I should set like this. Okay, now I'm not sure if this is be gonna be okay. So, ten steps, twenty step pairs. Hmm. 
Okay, now 20 steps. Right, so so this is uh, gonna be so ten steps. Uh, so I can't cut it the ten step pairs. Wait a minute. Okay, so 10 step pairs. That's the pairs for each of the rules. So I have for each of the rules, if I run them, 10 steps. Yes, that's this. Okay, 10 steps for, for each of the rules, if I run them, 10 steps. Okay, so to find for each of the rules, if I run them 20 steps, So, so 20 steps equals a map dot map with key. Oh, that's just map dot map. Um, Okay, so for that each, so I'm going to map over 10 steps. And I'm going to map uh, 20 steps. I'm going to, so this is going to be the uh, P and I'm going to say 10 steps map P. Concat. Hmm. Right. So concat map. This is going to be like this. Concat map like this. No. It's going to be like this. It's going to be 20 steps. Now, 40 steps. Um, from pairs, map dot values. This is probably not going to work, right? LMs, okay. I'll probably just run out of memory at some point. Yeah, I'm skipping a bunch of steps, but I'm still I'm still computing it, right? Now.
Yeah, it's probably probably won't finish. No, I don't want to hint. I'm gonna give this ten more minutes and then I'm out. I mean, I, I know that we need to do some more memorization, but I don't feel like. It. Do 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 do. Let's see how much this is using. It's not using that much memory, which is uh, interesting. I think it's also because I'm keeping all the strings around. I mean, that, well, that's the thing, right? You say I'm gonna need a lot more RAM, but like my my memory is not going up. So maybe it's just uh, frozen. We're not even computing the the answer, right? We're just computing the length of the string. Let's see if we can think about this. Okay, let's uh, actually cancel it. Let's run it on the example instead. Okay, let's go for a more classic uh, memoized version. Okay, so for the... Uh, task V3. It's just, it's just gonna be a very long string. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna compute the string, right? So, uh, let's see. Let's just do something like this. Uh, we have a pair, so it's the template. So, uh, if I have the memo...
And let me just, uh, let me just uh, compute like the, the number of each letter, right? I don't, I don't need to know the actual. So, okay. Uh, task to prime. If I'm, if I'm at the zero level, like I'm, I'm at the end of a computation and I have a A and a B. I have a map from list A1, B, B1. Ah, uh, but everyone, all of them are counted twice. Okay, we'll deal with that. We'll deal deal with that later. We just um. Okay, so if we're at the and we do like this. So task two prime. Um, and uh, memo. Case and just R. Memo Memo map P Now this is like a what does this pair how much how many how many of each letter does this pair contribute? Is that the right uh, way to think about it? Now okay, so at the zeros level, this one is actually a uh, P. Uh, is a map dot rules a case okay just uh, c a rules map dot p equals a map dot singleton c comma one c one Otherwise, map dot empty. So, uh, okay. Otherwise, so otherwise, I I look up the memoization of a p, comma n. Okay, if I find it, then a. No, so I have the okay, I have a pair, let me see. Okay, so then we check the uh, P at a comma B. Okay, so just C of so if I look it up in the rules map P Okay, so if this pair is not in the rules, nothing, then it's equal to map dot empty. Map dot empty, comma, memo, map dot insert, 
I think it's memo. Map.insert, I think, what is it? Is it a P0 memo? What's it have map insert? Insert. Okay, so it's key value. Yeah, okay. So then we see that the P has zero in the map. And it stops here. Okay, if... If we have a just C here, then we get um, rules of map P equals Okay, so let's do it the other way around. Okay, let's say just here. Otherwise, we don't have to do another lookup because we know it's not there. Okay. where um okay so if you're in this case here um if we look it up then we uh, we simply do so okay it's actually gonna be a uh, another so we we do it a bit far further okay a uh, just our uh, rules. No, this is going to be memo map a comma c comma n minus one. Yes, uh, R2. So this is going to be M1, uh, M prime. And then M2, M prime prime. Memo, map, B comma C comma N minus one. No, so here I'm going to look up in M prime. So if I find all these, then the result is a map on union m1 m2 comma m prime prime map dot insert a p and uh, well no this is yeah this should be n right. Okay, so here I actually want to insert. Oh, sorry, I need to insert something here. Okay, map insert a uh, p. Uh, so the key is going to be p comma n, and then I insert So I'd say comma mu is the map dot union of m1 m2. I insert I so I return mu and I insert pn and the value is mu into m prime prime. Okay. Otherwise, so if I if I if I don't This is if I find all of them. Okay, let's go back to the way it, we had it before. P equals, yeah, it's gonna be this. So 
if I can't find it in the rules, then it's like this, otherwise. And this one says, uh, so the result is map.empty. Uh, is it though? Yeah, and I insert a um, p comma n. res is map.empty I just do it to kind of have it the same I insert the MR here now this one has of course has to return um, MR is map at singleton C1. This is gonna be MR. Uh, this is gonna be memo. Uh, and we say map dot insert P comma zero MR memo. Otherwise, map.empty, map.insert, p comma zero, um, map.empty, memo. Okay, so if I, um, Okay, so if I find both of them, I don't care about this actually, because this um, so this one hasn't changed, right? So I find both of them in the memo, then the result is a mu and then pn and mu, and then in the memo. Okay, then we have again this one. Let's say we just find the first one, but not the second one. And this is equal to um, so we can have a big where m calced. Okay, so then oh no, okay, this one becomes a. Then we have to calculate so m c m prime prime is a task to prime n minus 1 m prime a b comma c n minus 1 and then we do the union And then we, it's always the same result, right? And the last one is for when we, oh, we have two more. Uh, this one is for when we don't find the, so this one was for when we find the second one, but, oh, 
This is so this is gonna be AC and this is gonna be C B. A C C B. This is gonna be when we find a C B but not a C. Okay. Uh and then we compute it again. And then the final case when we find neither. It's gonna be uh, but maybe we find it after we compute it. Damn it. Okay, this is not a good way to write the memoization function. Okay. Ish. Okay, we have the base case. So we write the uh, let's write it like this case a uh, memo uh, map just uh, mr m prime. Okay, we find it in the memo, the P0, we can't find it in the P0, then we say just C, let me do a list again, um, and we're not gonna, we're not gonna reuse it. Uh, like that we're just gonna and then we just say uh oh, okay this could be damn it mr map dot singleton we're we're only gonna cache results right we're not gonna be caching we were like caching memoizations which was a bit dumb um, uh, we're not, we're just gonna be, say, mr, comma, map dot insert p, comma, zero, mr. Mo. Otherwise, yeah, it's gonna be this one. Otherwise, it's just the empty map. Now. Task to prime um, n memo p case just res. So if you already know this one, memo map p p comma n equals res. Okay, if we don't know this one. Then we have to say we don't know this one, and then we say just C. Um, just C uh, equal uh, just C, where M one equals task to prime. So this one will it will ch it will check the memos, right? This is gonna be a mr comma m prime task to um, n minus one memo is it p at a comma b memo a a comma c Oh, yeah, okay. We have to do it like this. MRM prime, text to prime, and minus one. Memo, A comma C. MR2, M prime prime, task to prime, and minus one. M prime, 
c comma b equals a map dot union a mr mr two comma map dot insert And what what was the key? P comma N A and then and then the result. Yeah, so and we're gonna insult result that into and the result was a M1, M2, MR is the map dot union of m1 m2 and then this one is just mr and map dot insert and we use we use another insert into m prime prime okay uh, let's say undefined here now this one doesn't work because <sighs> i look up the memo here and then i look up the res in memo okay let's just define the type so task to prime which takes in an int it takes in a map map and it takes in a char comma char now what is the result here this, this is the what are we looking at we look up a uh, char comma char and an int and we return a, a map dot map char int I think that's what we try to do. Now let's see here. All right, and we don't return char char. Yeah, okay, and we return uh, map char int and a type um, memo map. Okay, here I have to return the memo again. And saying here, memo. So this one will be, um, let's just start it off with uh, 10, right? Task to prime. Um, 10, map.empty. Okay, let's actually fold our this folder. Or is it fold L? Ooh, which is it? So it's good match. I uh, use it. Oh. Uh, I think it's supposed to be fold R, no, fold L, and it doesn't want this. Uh, okay, what is that for fold L? So we take a B, yeah, and the memo, and the list, and an A, and return a B. Take a memo as so, well. Yeah, take, take an int, take a memo and a char. All right. Uh, 
let's uh let's just do it for um okay let's just uh just define a loop then right i mean it is a kind of a fold but not quite exactly so uh compute uh for the empty list we return cm uh we return cm compute memo uh p PS it's equal to um Let's just map this in initially map it over the pair just to see what it does. Um for the example exactly task two v three. Task two v three uh map template rules, yeah. If I get a uh, something from applying the rules, uh, otherwise I don't get anything from it. So this one is also the same. So here we get a P1, P2. Apply rule. Rules uh, P, and then this one becomes P1, this one becomes P2, and then we have otherwise, because we didn't have that if, there is, if it doesn't actually match a rule, uh, then it's just um, map.empty map.insert p comma n map.mt memo no this is map.singleton c right so i just need to say c here Okay, so it's very fast for a uh, 10 at least. What is it doing now? Okay, so we, yeah, we mapped it over the, the characters. Let me see.
Okay, so I only... Right, so now it just goes all the way to the bottom. But it never... Um, it never actually adds the two characters, right? This should be map union with us. So map FST and then map that unions with plus Okay here we're getting the letters pretty quick What does it do for the input? Quite fast, right? Do link ding 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 ding. What about forty? I mean, it, it would be faster if we kind of saved in between, but uh, this does not seem bad. So let's say it right, then we have the um, jars equals I take the elements and then I take the min c equals a Mini moon charge maxi equals maximum charge maxi minus min c. So for the example, we get uh, this number. Oof. Oh, wait. I'm forgetting something. Um, I think I have to do P at comma C. And then I add the two. Then I do unions with M1, M2, map dot singleton c1 so I, think I have to add the intermediate characters as well let's see we're getting the wrong number But I feel like we're we're on to something, right? So what does it give us for ten? So for 10 on the example, um, 
Wasn't it right before? Then we got 1749 and 161. So there are someone, some of them we are counting twice, something like that. Maybe it's just like this. Maybe we should end here. And at one. No, that's not. Quite close to the right one, right? I mean, these are not like they're not an order of magnitude up, they're just some of them. Some we are. Uh, oh, right, because it's I do with it for the pairs. for each of the pairs. Well, let's just do it for one. Let's see. If I do it once. I'm going to give B4, C2. Okay, because we added uh, B and C and B, C, H, B. Okay, so let's call this run. So for each of the uh, pairs, And let's do map m point Um, 
Let's see, so we have the run. Map FSD run. To see what the result is. We don't want the memoizing stuff. So NN after one gives a B1 and C1. Okay, what is this after zero? Okay, this is so, so it gives C1, and uh, this one gives B1, and this one gives H1. Okay, now for uh, that one was correct. Uh, okay, but it's not counting. kind of the initial letters, right? What if I do the... Um... Yeah, okay, so... so This one becomes NCN, okay? Uh, now, NCN become... Uh, NC becomes B... And C N becomes C. So so N N, right? This N N becomes N C N becomes N B C C N. So it's this C. There should be two C's here. And I think it's because I'm not uh, including the. Uh, And let's do it like this A B A C B map dot from list A A zip uh, A B C uh, repeat one This looks more promising. So then the NN becomes... It becomes NBCCN, right? Which is... Yeah, okay, this one is, looks correct. So let's see the chars. Um, let's see, run. Oh no, I want the jars here. Ding, 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 ding. Oh no, I don't want like that. So this is after one round. Now after 10 rounds. On the example, we get, uh, no, let's see, what if this is after nine rounds? Still not there. I think this one might be one. So after one round, what should I say? Yes, so okay, after 10 rounds. No, oh, damn it. And of course, I should insert one here always.
What happened if I said put zero here? Ah, it's the same, right? So some of these will be repeated, right? What if I just add the AEC? And I kind of trust that the other one will be added at the other one and so n c n two p's so two so there's two n's oh, there's only one b damn it e c c b So after one step, there are two N's, two B's, two C's. Here it's saying three C's. Damn it. <laughs> okay, I think I should just add the here and here I should add the P1 at so I add the new one here and then this one becomes map Unions with one M two that dot single singleton C one. Okay, this is after one step. Now after two steps. B five C three H one. B five C three H. So if I and if I add the uh, ones in the original template, let's see here. So if we're like two ends off here, that should be fine. So we should be one B off. We should be one B off. Yes, we're one B off. And we're and there's no H yeah, okay, so Okay, so we do we do we add the okay, so we Okay, um Temple count. Uh, that's a group. That's a classic map. X comma length L at X underscore L to L comma X. No, okay, yeah, it's like this. L at X underscore two length to X comma length L to the uh, template uh, of the uh, group sort. So we have one of them, temple count. And then we say map dot union with plus chars tempo count. 
What's wrong with this one? Oh, right. I thought from this temple account. Okay, now we have the right count for the... First one. Um, now let's see. Final. We got 1588, yes. And then for the input, we're supposed to get the same answer. 2621. Nice. Okay, now let's check for the example for 40. Six nine two three five two nine nice So we should be good All right, let's copy this All right, we did day 14 The combinatorial explosion Almost got us, but we ended up with 300 milliseconds. Yeah, I don't know what I started off with there, like with a just. <laughs> like, yeah, let's. I don't know. It was weird. Like if it's in, the, like we just check if it's in the memoization, right? And if it's there, then we just return the memo. Okay. Memoization helping us from exponential blow up. Yet again. Getting these base cases was a bit tricky though. So we added, we, we, I always counted the character we added. Uh, but the problem was that... Um, that we... Uh, the problem for the longest time was that we never counted the initial ones. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I will delete this one because it was garbage. This one is a ex exponential blow up. Let's see. Git status. Git add a fourteen dot hs input example. Okay, git commit am day 14, git push. Okay, we did day 14. Um, it was just a classic, you know, memo map return. Like, check if you've computed it before, then return it. If you haven't, do the computation. Make sure you get the base case right. Then uh, return the result and insert it into the memoization so you don't have to check it again. Otherwise, if it, so if it's not a rule, it ends up there. Uh, we could have actually done like this. Uh, let's see. Now, yeah, and then this, this case was a bit tricky, right? We had to make sure to count the letter always that we were adding. And um, so we add the letters, we sum up the uh, two answers we've gotten so far, and then 
we cache it. And that was the trick, right? We were always kind of computing the same thing again and again. But uh, this way it worked out. Uh, otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, we also we have to know when to stop, right? If we get a. Yeah. Okay. So it worked out. Thank you for tuning in. What is a? What is a, this? Is just a pattern match. So. Uh, Yeah, this is just a pattern match. So, uh, so guards, right? They they can be like you can have equalities, or you can have a pattern match, and it's in this kind of pattern monad, right? So you can run it, and uh, if it if it doesn't match the uh, pattern, then it just fails. And it goes to the next case. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's just guard syntax. Pattern matches in guards. I, I don't know if it has a special name. It's no. I mean, there's no language extension or anything going on here. It's just just standard. That's cool. Nine eight point two. Okay, so another key thing here is this. Right, you take the memo. Okay. You pass it to the first one, right? And then you have to use the new one with this one, right? Otherwise, these two are going to spawn two trees, right? So if I say memo here... It's not going to finish. <laughs> okay, so... Very important, when you memoize... Don't forget to actually use the memoization. So, uh, yeah. I uh, can't even cancel it. So that's the thing, right? This is the key one, right? We So, and this means we kind of only ever compute it once. Because, yeah. If we computed it before we... Okay, so the, both recursive calls, you have to, yeah, you, you have to update the memo and then use it. And there is a name for this pattern somewhere, right? I don't know. That's how you memoize in Haskell. And then, yeah, make sure you use the latest one. This is also an issue, right? You can't... Uh, I mean, okay, this one is not as bad, I think. Because I think you end up computing most of it in the left-hand side, anyway. Okay, it is pretty bad, actually. So, also make sure you, you return the latest one. <laughs> it's a bit funny, right? Like how tiny changes to the code can make huge computational difference when you're dealing with uh, exponential load. Otherwise, so we, we do, so this is basically like we apply the rule and if we get the result, because it's a, uh, it's going to be empty. Okay. It's not going to be empty, but it's going to be, it's not going to be, it's not going to have two elements. Uh, and then we don't, we're not adding anything. Uh, and then we can just say that for this case, we are in adding nothing. I think my 10, 20 steps was kind of cool. It was like the, but it was just, I think, yeah, it was too much, too much data going on. All right. Thanks again for tuning in. Uh, I have to see about tomorrow. Maybe I'll be here at seven, but uh, I have my Licentiate thesis going for printing on Thursday morning, so I have to finish it tonight and tomorrow. So we'll see about tomorrow, but maybe. Uh, yeah. But at least it's been fun today. And uh, yeah, just follow my Twitter around this time um, because, you know, I might be going to Norway and I'm going to Iceland for Christmas and all that. 
So yeah, we might be a bit... Uh, the schedule might be not as uh, regular. But check my Twitter. It's probably going to be an announcement there. And uh, yeah. Well, thanks for joining in so far. It's been a lot of fun for these last uh, 15 days, right? Just doing some memoization, making it work, having fun. All right. Catch you all uh, next time. Whenever that may be. Probably tomorrow. But uh, we'll have to see how stressed I am. All right. Bye-bye.